What's up guys and welcome to part 16 of the Supermoto build series. Yes, part 16. I wanted to do these kind of update videos when I have stuff that I still need to do on a previous build that I've already completed. So you may see me working on my Jeep, you may see me working on the Supermoto, you may see me working on the R1. Today is an episode working on the CRF 450, the build series that we just completed because I got a few things that I need to finish up. Don't worry, we'll be returning next week with the next part in the Ruckus build series, but today there's three main things that I need to get done on the CRF. One is probably the thing that you guys are thinking about most that needs to get done on this bike, and that is a kickstand. Right now, that bike does not have an actual kickstand. It just has a little triangle that I put into, triangle? That's like a parallelogram of some sort. Right now it has a triangle that just goes into the rear wheel and uh, allows me to stand it up, but I gotta take it out, carry it in a backpack or something like that, and put it onto the bike every time I get off of it. So I wanted a kickstand, I was just waiting on getting a good one in, and this is the one that I went with. It is the Promoto Billet kickstand. And what's cool about these, first of all, they're super high quality. All of the, uh, I guess, turning mechanisms are inside this unit. It's kind of hard to turn by hand, but it's got a real nice snap to it. Um, very, very sturdy. And uh, what's cool is that they offer cut, uh, cutting to a custom length. So if you got something like a Supermoto, they'll cut your dirt bike kickstand that you're planning on buying to whatever length that you want. Aside from the kickstand, the other things I need to do, I need to take care of the rear brakes. For some reason, they lost pressure and the rear brake pedal isn't working as it should. And then if you watch my uh, meetup video when I rode the Supermoto from the Texas meetup that we held, uh, I started getting some rub on the front fork guards. Uh, I cut them correctly, so I don't know why it randomly started rubbing, but I just need to shave those off a little bit and create a little bit extra room so it doesn't rub on the tire. So I got Fry riding with me. Oh, oh and geez. I dropped the kickstand. Kickstand issues. It's okay, it's metal, it's okay. So Fry riding is here, we're gonna get to work, and uh, we're gonna take care of this bike. All right, so with this kickstand, uh, it basically just mounts up into the standard foot peg uh, bolts that you've got. Are you doing stuff behind me? No. Bet you are. <laughs> so it mounts up in there. Uh, obviously, I would prefer if I could get this in black. Um, I'm not sure if I can powder coat this. It probably would mess up the mechanism. I can't like take it apart or anything like that. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure people have done it. Uh, but for now, <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> For now, I'm just gonna mount it up as it is. I know it won't look perfect. It's probably is gonna break up the look a little bit, but right now I just wanna get this kickstand on there. All right, so we gotta take this pin out. Do it clean, you have to be mean. It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> it sucks. Just like, what is my hand gonna run into when I rip this out? <laughs> Oh, just a really sharp corner right here. That didn't hurt one bit. Remember all those episodes of Will It Fit Because of Powder Coating? <laughs> well, this well, is this another is one. This isn't powder coated. Yeah, it is the inside. Oh, I guess that's true. And look all that out of place. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. Obviously, it'd be much cleaner if it was black. I mean, it actually blends in with the motor and the tailpipe, so it's really not like totally. Oh, God, what is that? Think about the years I was raised back in the day. I woke up early on my born day. I woke up early on my born day. I'm 20 years old. Perfect. Kickstand. Now, let's see if it's the right length. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, this, I'm going to have to say, I mean, it's, 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 standing, a little, it's a little upright. But that needs to be shorter. Yeah. It's like if it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Well, hold on. I wonder if um, once the suspension gets fixed up, this yep. is going to be sitting higher. 
and then it'll be, because it's not going to be slouching like that. It's exactly it's, what I was about to say. It's going to be up like that. I mean, it still could probably be slightly shorter. Deep in thought. <laughs> I could probably uh, see if they, maybe I can send it to them and have it come cut, a, cut it again. Not like it's too hard to get off or anything. Never too hard to get off. So that is the Promoto Billet kickstand. I love the quality. I just think that I probably should have had them cut off a little bit more um, for the Supermoto. But I think once the suspension is taken care of, it'll be a little bit better. I'm also gonna see if it's possible to get that thing powder coated. Um, and I'll let you guys know if it, if it is possible. Um, but thanks to those guys for sending it out to me. The next couple things that we have to do are the brakes and the fork guards. So the rear brake is working, but it's, it's not not working that well. I have to really press on it. Here, press on it. I think it works. It's just not adjusted properly. This needs to be adjusted to have more length. So I'll try that out and see if uh, that takes care of it, if it feels better. Um, if not, then we can uh, come back and adjust it some more. Last thing on the agenda is to uh, modify this fork guard. So you can see, hopefully, uh, it's really dark. Uh, let me try to brighten that. So you can see how it's kind of formed a groove in there to the shape of the wheel. Um, that's because it started rubbing on this. I don't know why. Um, I think it made just like actual motion um, causes the fork like the that breeze from the tire causes the fork guard to come out a little bit, and uh, so then it started touching. Um, either way, I'll just cut this down maybe a half centimeter or so. Um, I don't think I need to modify this side, thank goodness, because I don't wanna have to mess with taking off those wires. But uh, yeah, I'll take this one off, shave it off, and uh, we should be good to go. much better we got like a oh a little bit three or four millimeters I think we got plenty of space over there now a little bit less over here it's nearly touching it probably probably could touch it if it, touch it if it wanted to but so that's it for the actual work that we have to do on the bike actually the only thing that I do want to do is uh, adjust the go see if I need to adjust the headlight a little bit it's getting dark soon so we'll go to like a I don't know, I just need to find a building back up like 25 feet from it, make sure that it's aimed properly. If it's not, just bend the mount a little bit and it should be good to go. Everything else is running great. I've, uh, I rode it the whole meetup, no issues ex really except for that fork guard and the brake. Took care, care of the kickstand thanks to that Promoto Billet kickstand that I picked up. And uh, yeah, I'm loving the bike. Um, so me and Fry are gonna go ride and uh, that vlog will probably be up this week. I'm ready. Oh wow, you're already ready. I'm ready. I'm behind. So there's one more thing that I wanted to do in this video and that's show you guys what I've gotten in my P.O. box in the past few weeks, month, uh, actually I don't know how long it's been. Um, just a few things, I usually don't really mention it but I do have a P.O. box, it's down in the description if you wanna send me something. But let's go ahead and open up these packages. I got, I got well, I got two, two packages and a couple envelopes. I know what this one is, this is a license plate. If you don't know, I collect license plates. I haven't Start, started hanging them up in my garage, but I'm trying to collect license plates from all over the state, or all over the all over the country, all over the world. If you got one and you want to send me one, I do have a few um, special edition license plate stickers that I send to people who send me a license plate. So if you want to send me one, just uh, send it to that PO box in the description. Otherwise, uh, let's open up these packages. To save time, I'm just gonna open them all right now and then show you what we got. All right, here's what we got. First thing, this is actually not something that someone sent me, but it's something that I ordered. Um, so after I mounted up the tail light on the 450, uh, before I used epoxy, when I just used 3M tape and it didn't stick, I was like, well, let me think of a different tail light mount. But then when I used epoxy, it worked fine and I like it, so I didn't install this. Um, but this is an all-in-one tail light 
like it has turn signals, it has brake light, it has running light, and it's like got all the wires you need. It's super cheap. You can get these anywhere from like five to twenty bucks um, on eBay. So uh, if I ever take off the other tail light, I'll put that one on. I think it's a super clean mount, um, but we'll see. Second thing, this is from Nick Man. He hangs out in my Twitch streams. Um, I play Mario Kart with him a lot of times too on uh, uh, Wii U, but he sent me some Mario Kart fruit snacks and this awesome drawing that he did. You got the uh, Life Lived motto from my uh, vlog channel, Xnosity, my Twitch channel name. Got the Modernosity in the font. Got my logo and the R1. This is awesome, man. Appreciate the drawing. Next, we've got a package from Elizabeth from Belgium. She uh, she saw that I do sticker decorations, or I rather put a, I got a cabinet that I put stickers on that people send me. So if you got a sticker and you want to send it to me, I put them up here. I've had to expand over to this cabinet because I ran out of space. But she's an artist and she sent me these stickers and these are awesome. I love the colors on these. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And then the last package that I got is from Weem. Weem is a motor vlogger from the UK. I know all about Weem. Um, I didn't know that he was sending me this license plate. It's got his name on it. He rides a CBR 1000, so it's got the WR on there too. Um, Got a, got a picture of his bike, but you should check him out, Weem RCB. Check that out on YouTube. Appreciate it, man. Thank you everyone that sent these to me. Really appreciate the packages that you guys send me. If you wanna send one yourself, you can send it down to the PO box that I have in the description. PO box 2032, Cedar Park, Texas 78630. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for the episode today. I'm Motonocity. I'm Fry Riding. And you've just been filled in. Wait, no, that's... <laughs> Wrong Phil, channel. That's Philip DeFranco. Damn it.